what is the biggest battle a trainer has with a client in getting them to succeed? For me personally, it is about eating consistently and getting weight off. Let's face it, most people's goals when they get involved in health and fitness is to lose weight. There are a lot of other goals, but weight loss is a big factor in why people exercise. The problem is it can be very hard to get someone to do it consistently. Often people start out well, but they don't maintain it or they don't start at all. What is a way to get someone motivated? Now, myself included, other trainers, we all say the key things, what everyone says about feeling better, moving better, sleeping better, looking better, all of these things. And they're all very true. But it's, for me, it's, it's gotta become, it's gotta come from internal. It's gotta come from one day that something happens to trigger you. That may be a moment with your family, with your children where you can't move well, you don't fit your old clothes or whatever it is. The advice I'll give to people when it comes down to sometimes for some people, this is not the answer for everyone. You have to like what you see in the mirror. Stand in front of the mirror, take your clothes off, stand there and do you like what you see? If you don't, you need to make a change. I'm not saying this is the answer for everyone, but it can be that way. The problem is people don't wanna look in the mirror. We turn blind to it. Out of sight, out of mind for a lot of people. Guys, you have to own up to this. You've gotta stand there and you've gotta look. And if you don't like it, make the change. Obviously the byproduct from losing weight is going to be feeling better, sleeping better, moving better. We know all that. But where it starts with is nutrition. We're always saying 70% of what you do for weight loss is what you eat. And that is very true, 70, 80%. It's a very big factor in it. But what is gonna motivate you? When is that day gonna come? Okay, you have to make that day happen. And you have to own up to how you look and how you feel. So my suggestion to, do, to you is to stand there, to take a good look at yourself. And I really hope you can make that change. It will happen one day. It's got to come from you. I say to all my clients, if your goal is weight loss, when you are serious about it, I'm there to support you. Until then, I'm not going to constantly talk about it. It is like telling the smoker they shouldn't smoke. They know they shouldn't. So I say to someone, when you're ready, I'm gonna be there for you. And that's what you need to do. Everybody needs a good support base. Have a plan, have a support base. And when you're ready, execute that plan, have that support and you will succeed but there has to come a day where you don't like what you see. And I hope that day for you is today, not tomorrow. I hope you look at yourself and you make the change. I wish you so much success. Remember, do not give up. If you're not successful the first time, that doesn't mean you shouldn't try again. Try again, fail, try again, fail, try again. You will be successful one day, I promise you. And obviously it will be really worth it. And it is about living longer, being happier, being less stressed, moving better, sleeping better, all of those cool things come with it. But firstly, it's about making more good choices than bad choices. That's literally how simple it is. If I told you to name 10 things you should eat, 10 things you shouldn't eat, you know what they are. But what's gonna motivate you to do those 10 things and make those good choices is owning up to how you look and how you feel, but primarily how you look. Do you like what you see? If not, let's do it, make the change. I wish you luck.